classical music movement was around 1750 to 1830 and is typified by shorter and less complex melodies compared to the Baroque period, with thinner textures but largely homophonic. There was a greater variety of and contrast between musical sections. We also see the harpsichord gradually replaced by the piano. Key to the classical movement were three composers, Mozart, Beethoven, and Haydn. Born in Austria, Mozart was composing from the age of five. By 17, he had performed in front of European royalty and was engaged as a court musician in Salzburg. In 1781, Mozart moved to Vienna, which would become the center of the classical music movement. It was here that he befriended Haydn. Along with Beethoven and Haydn, Mozart created and perfected the musical forms that marked the classical period. Symphonies were grand and elaborate instrumental pieces performed by a large orchestra, usually in several sections or movements. Concerto were similar to symphonies, but the orchestra would act as an accompaniment to one or more solo instruments. String ensembles were orchestras comprised entirely of string instruments, including quartets, which were very popular in this period. Opera, as we've learned in previous videos, was a dramatic vocal-led performance and is reminiscent of ancient Greek drama. Many consider Mozart's greatest gift to be the inspiration he passed to a young and already very talented Beethoven. Beethoven was born in Bonn, which at the time was part of the Holy Roman Empire. Beethoven would be crucial for the transition between classical and romantic periods. Beethoven created plenty of recognizable pieces, including nine symphonies, 32 piano sonatas, 16 string quartets, and that's just the recognizable stuff. Most of his early works are created very much in the style of Mozart, and in 1787 he was sent to Vienna to study under him, although it's a matter of some speculation whether or not they ever met. In the later part of his career, Beethoven was still composing despite being entirely deaf. Indeed, many of these are his best-known creations. Beethoven was a gifted composer from a young age, but his excellence was perhaps bullied into him by his father, who would flog him and regularly deprive him of sleep in order to practice more. One final composer who is of great importance, but often overshadowed by Mozart and Beethoven, is Joseph Haydn. Haydn was instrumental in the development of chamber music and is often referred to as the father of the symphony and the father of the string quartet. During his career as a court musician, he was so cut off from other composers and influences, he was forced to be completely original. This is likely what inspired his young friend Mozart. Haydn created vast amounts of music. In 1760 alone, he created 40 symphonies. That's around one every nine days. Any composer from the classical era would have greater influence in how a piece was performed, which would lead to much larger orchestras, but also the emergence of the string quartet. Composers would also give more attention to percussion and wind parts, which were previously only sketched out. Public performances would also become much more popular in this period, being hosted in halls and opera houses, possibly also due to the composer's influence. Written music from the classical period most closely resembles what we see today. Works in this period were usually titled as a clinical description rather than by a name. For example, prelude in C minor. Music was enjoyed in an abstract sense and wasn't viewed as being about any particular thing. Fun fact, Beethoven's famous piano piece, Moonlight Sonata, is actually named Piano Sonata No. 14, Opus 27, No. 2. The composer never himself referred to it as the Moonlight Sonata. And that was the classical era. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more content or check out our website at stabpanda.com. Farewell. Wellington.